Hi everyone, welcome to Eco Learning Classes. This is Professor Geeta Mahesh. Dear students, let us discuss an important and interesting concept: the shapes of long run cost curves. Dear students, we all know that in the long run, all factors of production are variable. That means in the long run, all inputs are variable. So the period is so long where you can bring a change in all the factors of production in order to bring change in the level of output. In order to bring a change in level of output. In the long run, there won't be any fixed cost. There will be only variable cost, and there won't be any fixed cost. Therefore, total cost will coincide with the total variable cost in the long run. See, we know that total cost is equal to total fixed cost plus total variable cost. But in the long run, there won't be any total fixed cost. So definitely, what happens? Total cost will be exactly equal to total variable cost. So total variable cost will coincide with the total cost. in the long run now let us discuss different types of long run cost as there won't be any total fixed cost then definitely we will have only a few types of long run cost one is total cost what do you mean by total cost means it is a total cost incurred on production of total output or it is a total cost incurred to produce total output how will you find out total cost total cost is equal to summation of marginal cost so how many units you are producing to produce that many units of output how much cost you are incurring that we call it as total cost the second one is long run average cost what is long run average cost means it is a total cost or cost per unit of output in the long run so here long run lrac is a cost per unit of output in the long run so this can be calculated you can see the formula here long run average cost is equal to total cost divided by quantity you can find out long run average cost the third one is the third one is long run marginal cost what is long run marginal cost the additional cost incurred to produce additional unit of output or we can say change in total cost per unit of change in output we call it as marginal cost see for example to produce 10 units of output you have spent rupees you have spent rupees 100 now to produce a 11th unit that means to produce one more unit of output you are going to incur 20 so total cost becomes 120 so take a difference of this one 120 minus to produce 11 units total cost incurred is 120 to produce 10 units of output they incurred is 100 so what is the difference 20 this additional cost this additional cost incurred to produce one more unit or to produce 11th unit of output we call it as marginal cost how you are going to calculate marginal cost total cost n minus total cost n minus 1 easily you can find out a long run marginal cost dear students now let us discuss the shapes of long run cost curves the shapes of long run cost curves depends on returns to scale now let us understand the returns to scale then we will move on to the shapes of long run cost curves dear students here you can see in the table there are three stages of returns to scale one is increasing returns to scale constant returns to scale then decreasing returns to scale or diminishing returns to scale what this returns to scale explains means the proportion of increase in input leads to change in the proportion of output 
on the basis of how much change has taken place in output due to change in input we will decide which type or which stage of returns to scale. Now let us understand with the help of an example. If input increased by 10% then output increases more than 10% or 20% then this stage we call it as increasing returns to scale. I repeat once again 10% increase in input leads to more than greater than 10% increase in output we call it as increasing returns to scale or you can say 10% increase in input leads to 20% increase in output we call it as increasing returns to scale. What is constant returns to scale? When 10% increase in input leads to 10% increase in output we call it as constant returns to scale. Then decreasing returns to scale. When 10% increase in input leads to less than 10% that is 5% increase in output then we call it as decreasing or diminishing returns to scale. So due to this returns to scale the shape of long run cost curves will be determined. Now let us understand the shapes of long run cost curves. Dear students, now let us understand the shapes of long run cost curve with the help of a diagram. On x axis output is measured, on y axis cost is measured. As long as there is an operation of increasing returns to scale, then the cost is going to decrease because increase in input increase in input is 10 percent and increase in output increase in output is 20 percent so the returns what you are getting is more than the investment so when there is an operation of increasing returns to scale in that increasing returns to scale during increasing returns to scale marginal product is greater than the average product. So in this situation you can see in the diagram in this situation you can see in this first stage where there is an operation of increasing returns to scale both LRAC and LRMC are decreasing. So as long as there is an operation of increasing returns to scale, in that situation marginal product is greater than average product. So in the first stage where I have marked here, you know, this first stage you can see both LRAC, LRMC are decreasing. Not only they are decreasing, here you can observe MC is less than AC. Here MP is greater than AP. Here MC is less than AC. Then now let us discuss here constant returns to scale. When you observe constant returns to scale, what do you mean by constant returns to scale? When input, when input increased by 10%, Output also increases by 10%. In this case, marginal product is equal to average product. That means marginal product cuts average product when average product is minimum. In the similar way or in the same way, when long run average cost is minimum, at that point long run marginal cost curve will become equal or long run marginal cost curve cuts long run average cost curve. So here marginal cost is exactly equal to average cost as long as there is an operation of constant returns to scale this position remains in the form. 
I repeat once again as long as there is a operation of constant returns to scale marginal product is equal to average product. So marginal cost will be equal to average cost. When there is a operation of decreasing returns to scale that means 10% increase in input input leads to 5% increase in output that means investment is more but returns is less so in that situation what happens in this situation during decreasing returns to scale marginal product is less than average product marginal product is less than average product so here marginal cost is greater than average cost you can see in the diagram both lrmc lrac after this point started increasing so lrac lrmc will start increasing in the third stage because in this third stage due to operation of decreasing returns to scale both lrac lrmc starts increasing the reason is increase in output is less than the increase in input so dear students here you can see here you can see the shapes of long run marginal cost and long run average cost curves we call it as u shaped or we call this as mirror image of marginal product and average product we know the shape of we know the shape of marginal product and average product see here the marginal product and average product will be like this let me take it this as average product and this will be the marginal product so this will be the marginal product so this is a mirror image which one long run marginal cost and long run average cost is a mirror image of marginal product and the average product so here you can see it will be like this so this will be the average cost long run average cost and long run marginal cost will cut at this point so long run marginal cost both long run marginal cost and long run average cost curves are u shaped they are u shaped because of operation of returns to scale law of returns to scale dear students you can see in the diagram shape of lr mc and lr ac are u shaped the reason is the operation of law of returns to scale as long as there is operation of increasing returns to scale both lr ac and lr mc will decrease later lr mc starts increasing but lr lr ac continue to fall you can see here both are decreasing later what happens after this point mc starts increasing but ac continues to decrease when ac becomes minimum mc cuts when ac becomes minimum mc cuts and that time there will be operation of constant returns to scale later both mc and ac both mc and ac starts increasing dear students initially both lr mc and lr ac are falling but fall in mc is faster than fall in ac so ac is always above mc initially later both will become equal after that mc will be greater than ac so increase in mc is faster than increase in ac dear student dear students you can make use of this notes important for 6 marks dear students if you like 
please like share and subscribe to my channel thank you